Hey there everyone and welcome back to another video. For today, I'm going to focus on showing you guys how to use and install Whisper AI into your computer. So for those who are unaware what exactly Whisper AI is, well, it's just like ChatGPT in so that it's also an AI generative AI platform. What sets it apart though is that it uses voice-to-text recognition instead of text-to-text -text prompts or text-to-image prompts. Whisper AI is pretty much a speech recognition and transcription software that uses artificial intelligence to convert spoken language into written text automatically. Just like all those other AI programs nowadays, it is such a great tool to help productivity and ease of use for businesses and personals alike. Alright, now enough of the intro for Whisper AI, let's go about installing this into our computer. The first program that we're going to need is Python to be installed on our computer. Whisper AI runs on the general purpose programming language called Python and we're going to need to install this if we want Whisper AI to work properly on our computer and devices. So go on over to python.org in order to download and install Python into our computer. Once you're on the homepage of Python, go ahead and scroll down until you see a list of all the releases that Python has actually pushed out. For the purposes of using Whisper AI, we're going to install exactly Python version 3.10.10. Now, once you've downloaded the application installer, go ahead and double click it until you see the Python setup menu appear. Before you go ahead with the installation process though, make sure you tick the checkbox add python.exe to path. So go ahead and let the Python installer do its trick. And once the installation process is complete, I'm going to show you how you can verify whether Python is installed on our system with the correct system version. So open up your start menu and we're going to be using the command prompt or CMD application. In order to verify that Python was installed correctly, we're going to type the command python space dash v. This will double check our computer's registry and double check if Python and which version of Python is currently installed and running. As you can see, we have Python version 3.10.10 installed, so we had a perfect success with the installation procedure. Once we've successfully installed Python onto our computer, we are now going to install PyTorch. For those who are also unaware, PyTorch is an open source machine learning library usually used for developing and training neural network based deep learning models. Basically, PyTorch is what AIs use in order to act like AIs. So in order to install PyTorch after installing Python to our system, we're going to go to pytorch.org and we're going to click on the option on the menu Get Started. Then, we're going to choose Start Locally and scroll down in order to download the proper files for our system. So make sure that we have the correct PyTorch build, the correct operating system, the correct PIP package, the Python language, and the correct computer platform. Once you have all those settings verified and correct, go ahead and copy the command after the box that says Run This Command. So go ahead and copy that command line and run it on CMD. What this will do is use CMD in order to download and install PyTorch locally onto our system. So once you have Python and PyTorch all running and set up on your computer, I want you now to go to chocolately.org in order to download the package manager for modern software automation for Windows. So go ahead to chocolately.org and go to their homepage. From there, on the upper right corner, you want to click on Install in order to see the installation procedures and steps to get Chocolately running on your system. In order to put this simply, what we're going to do is take the command line as shown here, copy it, and instead of running it on CMD like we have been with Python and PyTorch, we're going to be running this on Windows PowerShell. So go ahead and copy the link and then go to your Windows search menu and search for Windows PowerShell. 
then what you're going to do is to paste that command line into Windows PowerShell in order to start the downloading and installation procedure for Chocolately. You're going to give this some time, since sometimes using these PowerShell and CMD programs may take a while to download and install to your computer. Now once all of that is done, we're going to go back to Windows CMD. Then we're going to type this exact command line, pip space install space dash u space openai dash whisper. Now, by running this command line on CMD, we are now finally installing Whisper AI directly into our system. As you can see, during this installation process, there's going to be an absolute wall of text, which indicates that Whisper AI is now downloading and being installed by Windows CMD. Now, finally, once we have Whisper AI downloaded and installed into our system, we can now try running it using its voice to text transcription features. In order to use Whisper AI properly, we have to do everything on Windows CMD. So, using Windows CMD program, I want you to go to a file which you wish to upload to the Whisper AI servers. By uploading a .mp3 or .wav file, Whisper AI will automatically analyze this audio file and create a text transcription of it for us. An important thing to note though is to make sure that the proper file location is placed and inputted on Windows CMD. Now in order to access Whisper, just type in the command whisper space the file name that we wish to upload to be transcribed. Now just click on enter and let Whisper AI do its magic after doing all the steps to install it into our system. So as you can see, in this video example, we seem to have run into a slight problem with the file location of our file to be transcribed. This is quite the common problem, and in order to fix this, we just need to double check all our command lines in accessing the Whisper AI features. Other than those small bug fixes though, congratulations, we've shown you how to install Whisper AI and a simple example of how to use it on your system using Windows CMD. That's all the time we have for this video, so don't forget to like this video if you feel like you learned something new, and also subscribe to the channel for more content just like this one. And if you have any other questions or inquiries, feel free to leave a comment down below and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Yet again, thank you so much for watching and we'll definitely see you all in the next one.